What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, alrighty, so in our last episode, we won our sixth badge, I think, yes? Let's count them up. No, that's the wrong one. No, actually, we're just gonna be flying, okay? So, yeah, we won our sixth badge from Chuck the Gym Leader, and now we are enabled to fly. And, thanks to his wife, we got the fly technique, so now we're gonna... And teach Tonks and Batman fly, that way we can get the F out of here because we got a Pokemon to save. Yeah, quite a few things that we did in the last episode. You know, we batted you seen, you know, found out that the Safari Zone still lives, defeated Chuck, and what else? We took a picture, yeah, we took a pretty nice good group picture and all that stuff, and, uh, well, th I think that's pretty much it. So now... It is time for us to go back to Mahog... No, not Mahogany. Uh, Sinewood City. Olivine City. That's right. We're going back to Olivine City to go save Amphi because, uh, yeah. Jasmine is worried and we cannot fail our lady right here. Mm -mm. Rule number one, guys. Never, ever keep a lady waiting. Okay, so here we are in Sin... Or not Sinewood. Olivine City. All you need to do now is go back to the light tower and, well... All you gotta do now is go in straight to the elevator because, hey, you know, you went through the whole shebang just to get here. Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna go straight up to the lighthouse. Oh, uh, yes. The lighthouse right here. And we are here. Alrighty, okay. So, let's go back right here. There's Jasmine and her MP. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to Jasmine. And she's like, yes, the medicine will cure Amphi. And look at that, the secret potion has been given to Jasmine, and yeah, she's telling me, don't be offended, Amphi will not take anything uh, anything from anyone except from me. So here we're giving the medicine to Amphi, and uh, take a look at this. Hello, hello. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, damn! Damn! Look at that, okay, so everything is brightened up. This MP is happy, and, uh, well, Jasmine is going back to the gym, so if you guys haven't noticed, look at this, yeah. Gym battle number seven. Okay, alrighty, so let's go right ahead and go straight to the gym. Now, I, like I said in the last episode, I did go the opposite way. Uh, you do have free range of which gym you want to go first. You can either go to Mahogany, or you can go right here on Olivine and all that stuff. I chose the opposite way, because why not? Okay, so, let's get the heck out of here, and uh, we're getting a call from Baoba, and if you guys don't know, Warden Baoba is the, of course, the Warden of the Safari Zone gym, or the Safari Zone. You first met him close to the farm, and, well, now, he's letting you know that the Safari Zone is now open. He would like for you to come and visit, so we will be going to the Safari Zone pretty soon here because there's quite a few interesting Pokemon you can capture right there. You know, that way you can make the team a little bit better. Yeah. It's never too bad to make the team better. Okay, so here it is. Olivine City Gym. And, well, talk to this guy and he's like, she uses Steel type. She has the tenderness but the coldness and all that stuff. And as you can see, there are people in here. They will not battle you because they are thankful. They are grateful that, hey, you helped that, uh, Amphi. You did. So, it's only one little battle. What could go wrong? Well, I don't know. We'll see. So here's our lady, Jasmine, and she's like, thank you for the help. Now let me introduce myself. I am the gym leader here, Clang. I use skill type Pokemon, if you don't know what they are. Here we are. I'm about to mess you up. Paraphrasing. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number seven against our lady, Jasmine. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. She's looking like a fair lady right here, and she will be coming out with a Magnemite. It is an electric type Pokemon. Now remember, guys, uh, or what was I gonna say? Steel type Pokemon are weak against fire types. They are also weak against ground types. But you have to have a boatload of attack in order to defeat the the, the, the Steel type Pokemon defense. Because yeah, they're very 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 defensive. Now, one thing too is that Magnemite. In Generation 2 and right here, they got converted into Steel and Electric type Pokemon. Be aware of their Thunder Wave attack because they will be slowing you down a little. And that's what she likes to use right here. Okay, so we defeated Magnemite. That's right. And here she's going to come out with her big guns, Steelix. The evolved form of Onyx. Look at this guy. Doesn't look much uh, like Steel, but look at this. Flame Wheel for the win. Oh, yeah. Oh, crud. 
Now, I think Steelix is also a ground type Pokemon too, so just be aware if you, you know, if you want to use a water type Pokemon, go right ahead. Do it. Do it. So here we go. Flame Wheel again. And remember, Steel type Pokemon defense. Up, right up there. Yeah. Kind of scary. And, well, he's using a Citrus Berry, and Steelix likes to use Sandstorm. And again, Sandstorm will only affect anything other than Rock, Ground, and Steel. So, yeah, just, uh, just be, be aware of that if you do have a Ground-type Pokemon. And, well, look at this. Steelix is still just, uh, you know, hanging in there. And we're getting our butts kicked. And there goes Cinder. Fuck. Okay, so, let's see. The Sandstorm rages on. Of course, Steelix is not going to get hurt. Let's go with our big guns. Let's go with, uh, hmm. Let's go with our big guns, Hercules. Now, it's been a while since I've used you, homeboy. Do me something and go with a Brick Break. Now, Steel-type Pokemon are weak against Fighting-type Pokemon, too. So just be aware of that. Don't try even... Don't even try and use Poison-types. Hell, Psychic-types don't even work on these guys. I, I don't know why. It just... It, that's how it is. But let's go right ahead and use another Brick Break. For the win, come on, Hercules! Do it for the Herculean bitches. And good god, this Steelix is uh <laughs> he survived and look at that iron tail. And yeah, that that uh, yeah, that splattered all my uh, my Hercules right there. So now we're in for a battle right here, so let's go ahead and bring in Nessie. Okay, Nessie. You're a water type Pokemon, go ahead and use surf. That's right. Surf attack. For the win, suck it, Steelix. And because of that, you know, Nessie gets all the experience points right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, God. Nearly grows a level. And here he's coming out with a Magnemite. Now, I'm kind of screwed right here because, yeah, it's a Steel type and an Electric type. You got two Pokemon weak against it. And I do have the two main Pokemon I was going to use uh, all fainted. So what is, what is going to happen right here is I am going to try and revolve, revive my Pokemon. That way, you know, that way, it, it, yeah, that way I can, uh, you know, make it, make, make it work, because, yeah, what, what is Fluffle going to do against Magnemite? Nothing. And you know what sucks even more? In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they don't even sell uh, Thunder Punch, Flat Fire Punch, or anything like that anymore, because, well, they're too powerful. We can't use them right here. You know, Fire Punch would have worked right now. Would have gotten this game over and done with, but... No, no, they don't want you to win easily. So here I am reviving Pokemon and healing them up because uh, why not? And uh, well, of course, Fluffle is going to take some damage from an, from his electric type brethren. So let's go ahead and uh, well, let's go. You know what? Let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to just switch out Pokemon right here and uh, let's just destroy this guy. Let's go with Magnemite's, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, Kryptonite right here. And that is a Cinder. Okay, Cinder. Do not get paralyzed. And we got hit pretty hard right there. So let's go with a Flame Wheel. Let's eat. Let's get this. Come on. And good God, Magnemite has survived. And here comes a Thunderbolt attack. Yeah, that, uh, that's going to take out my uh, Cinder right there. Crap baskets on a Crapsicle 6. So let's go with Relic right here. Now, what can Relic do? Steel Tags, yeah, they can, <laughs> they, can, they can hang out for a long time. So, oh, crap. <laughs> Jasmine is making it hard for me. So here I thought that I was going to win. And, uh, yeah, the Shadow Ball is not so powerful. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I got to I gotta revive another Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for Hercules, since it does have a higher physical attack and all that crud. And, yes, we're going to be taking quite a few Thunderbolts, because, you know, that's what we are. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so let's go. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go here. Let's go ahead and kill our Pokemon. You know, Relic can just, he can be a Sacrificial Lamb for this battle right here. Other than that, yeah, let's just not try it. Let's, let's, let's not try and push it right here. So, here we go. A Thunderbolt. Oh, crap, baskets. And what is going on right here? And, oh, damn, we're paralyzed. Okay. I see how this is. Okay, so let's go with a... Let's go with another potion right here. And let's go ahead and stop it. Well, we couldn't stop it. Okay, uh, and there comes the Thunderbolt. Oh, crud, and okay, so we survived, and... 
<laughs> yeah, okay, so we're gonna be staying the uh, yeah, we're gonna stay paralyzed right here. So here comes another Thunderbolt, and there goes Relic. So yeah, that kind of puts us back a little bit on the evolutionary thing. But here comes Hercules, ready to go. Let's destroy this Magnemite with one big old brick break. Big old brick break right here. And uh, look at this. Brick break for the win. Suck it, Magnemite. All right, who never thought that who never thought that a level 30 Magnemite would actually give us this much trouble? But there it is, guys. We defeated Jasmine for our seventh badge. Could be our sixth or fifth badge, or it doesn't even matter. But yes, we do have the skill and kindness to do this and that. So here it is, guys. The mineral badge. Take a look at that. Yeah, that's right. We're looking like pimps right here with mineral badges and all that stuff. Pokemon up to level 70 are able to obey us and all that stuff. And she will be giving us the TM23 Iron Tail. Very good move. You probably saw it because Hercules got splattered all over the place because of that stuff. Okay. So, she says good luck to us. Now, remember, after every seventh gym battle, victory I should say, you will be getting a call from Professor Elm. And, well, he's asking you how are things going, a call and something weird's happening to the radio broadcast, something talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket returned, it doesn't really know, but sorry to bug you, take care. Now, after that, you can go straight to the radio right here on the app, and there it is. Team Rocket has taken over the radio station over in Goldenrod, so yeah, that is a, that is a, that, that is something that we need to take care of uh, in the next few episodes. Now, I will be taking a few side quests before we go there, so yeah, that's going to be a fun one right there. So. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.